reason we made no base was really because I wanted something long scale, reasonably light, kind of a cool shape. And with a classic kind of sound to it, you know, like a classic sort of vintage tone. So you've got what you've got here is kind of like a vintage style sort of split pickup. Quite hot, quite high output. It's moved forward eight mil. And the reason for that is I lived in LA and a bass player friend of mine, I mean this was about 25 years ago I lived there, you know, only briefly. A bass player friend of mine kept on going about moving his pickup forward, you know, slightly, like seven mil or something. And uh, he kept going on about it and I kind of thought, yeah, yeah, whatever, you know. And then one day he grabbed me down to the rehearsal place and said, check this out. And he'd done it and routed it out. He'd made new, got new scratch blade made and, and I think he stuck a 69 pickup in there or something. Um, and it just growled. And the high register sounded fat, so I didn't weed out so much. Uh, I was quite actually taken aback by how good this bass sounded, so I kind of like thought about it on this and thought, well, yeah, we ended up eight mil forward on this, you know. Uh, I just wanted something that's going to sound classic, look classic, and uh, a rock and roll kind of bass really. But I mean you could play all sorts of stuff on it, you know. Not just for that. Also the scratch plate, I wanted something that looked like a Formula One circuit. This way up. Or a seahorse this way up. 